Thank you, Grace, and thank you, everybody, for coming on this very auspicious day, the 15th day of the Chinese New Year. Um, I got up this morning, I thought I should put a nice red tie on, especially for the day, and uh, the time I looked in the mirror, I thought I looked a bit more like somebody going to a Donald Trump fancy dress party. <laughs> Never mind. A great day. We're here to name the Pacific Grouse, and... Uh, it's a great name for a ship. It reminds me of the sponsor for Scottish rugby to all my English friends and colleagues that might be in the audience. Um, and a special day for me because we're welcoming our lady sponsor, Brenda Payne. Uh, Brenda, you're looking lovely today. For those that don't know, uh, I'm godfather to Brenda's uh, daughter, Romani, and I was best man at her wedding. Uh, and just to extend the, the family connections that we have today, uh, our captain, who is a, a, Sing a Singaporean captain, which is quite rare, especially in a fleet of 80 vessels. So a great day that we've got a Singapore master uh, commanding the ship. And I attended Sherman's wedding about 14 years ago, I think it was, Sherman. So we're, we're all very well connected here today. It gives us a good feeling. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, on behalf of Swire Pacific Offshore, I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this day. We're delighted to welcome what is the eighth vessel of a series of ten of the G-Class platform supply vessels uh, built at JMU and I welcome Kazuyoshi-san, our representative from JMU, who built the ship, a very good quality ship. This is a 4,000 deadweight PSV, over 800 square metres of back deck. But the real magic of this ship is her fuel efficiency. Um, it's remarkable in the downturn that we've got that each of these vessels have come straight out of the shipyard and straight onto charters. Uh, it's a measure of the teams that have worked to get them on, out to work, but it's also a measure of the, the vessel. It's proving a very popular design, and the main part of this design is the fuel efficiency. Uh, remarkable fuel consumptions. The uh, DP2 can stand by off of an FPSO for days at a time on the surface of an oily rag. So that's a real success story so far. And the uh, addition of the vessel continues our strategy of developing in SPO a modern, high spec and reliable fleet. The average age of the fleet right now is just under eight years, which again is a, a great result in the market that we've got because uh, certainly for the last three years, nobody's been placing orders for new ships. And we're confident that this vessel will join its sister vessels in providing the same high quality service. The other vessels are working everywhere from West Africa, we've uh, had them right across to Australia, so they're definitely a global uh, design. Uh, like the rest of our G-Class series, uh, this is a Singapore registered vessel. Um, and SPO itself uh, are based here in our head offices in Singapore. We moved down from Hong Kong where our head office used to be in 1992, but the company itself has been in existence for since 1975. So a very well established offshore oil and gas business now that we have. Uh, today we're very pleased to welcome some special guests and I'd like to acknowledge uh, within our maritime industry here we've got both the Singapore Shipping Association uh, representatives and the Singapore Maritime Academy. So w welcome to the Academy. It's a very important position here in Singapore. And we've got a number of key partners who we've been welcomed to this event before, uh, from the P&I clubs and from the insurance industry. We've got representation from Charles Taylor, so w welcome David and your, your team. Uh, Clarkson are here once again, Clarkson Plateau, Fernley, Kennedy Marr, Mike from M3 is here. Marant Offshore. So welcome all of you, all uh, good partners and good friends. I think uh, thanks go to a number of people. Um, we've got a great team at SPO, that we've got a fantastic team of staff, employees, in particular the design of this vessel and the building, the construction of it, so hand in hand with Jim Yu, goes to the technical team, headed up by our technical director, David Marin. We've got to thank uh, Chris Bowden, and his team here in Singapore, they're the guys that got it on hire to the Southeast Asian Charters. And uh, I want to thank the commercial team that work for myself here in Singapore. Not only are they behind a lot of the work that goes on here, but they've put today's event together. So thanks Lee Chin and Kavita's team. I think a final thanks is due to 
Captain Dodwell and the, to the crew. And just as a final word, I'd say look after the vessel guys and we wish you uh, fair winds and following seas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain Telfer. We shall now proceed with the naming ceremony of the vessel. It is our honour to invite the lady sponsor, Mrs. Brenda Ping, to name HAL number 0089. May we request Captain Telfer to accompany her, please. We shall now have Mrs. Brenda Payne to name HAL number 0089. I, Brenda Payne, hereby name this vessel Pacific Grass. May she, her crew, and all those who sail with her always be blessed with safe and successful voyages. Ladies and gentlemen, the naming ceremony of Pacific Grass is now complete. Now we would like to invite our lady sponsor, Mrs. Brenda Payne, to cut the ribbon. <laughs> to mark the last day of Chinese New Year, we are pleased to bring to you the Lion Dance, which celebrates good luck and prosperity. 